Hi guys, this is lesson number 21 from our Coral Draw training course series. In this exercise, I am going to teach you how to use artistic media tool. As you can see that we have here a glass with the nice uh, vector effect and there is a text also here. In our coming lesson, we will be learning more in depth about artistic media tool. But now I'm going to show you the basic of this tool. Guys, this type of effect you can see on the images you can see this type of images in the coffee shop in the bar or in the fast food restaurants sometime it is printed on the wall like this effect and sometime they are using uh, this type of vector art on the glass uh, as a sticker so uh, let's see how it's done i created this artwork based on an image and uh, i will import that image and i will show you how to do that so let's start zoom tool zoom to page height and uh, I am going to import image here import and you can see that I have your glass I will take this click and drag there you go here we have image so what we can do here uh, we can draw first path okay I am going to use open path we are not going to use any closed shape such as a circle or maybe rectangle though we can apply artistic media effect on close object also but here I will use only open path you have more choices you can use any tool to create path you can use freehand tool a bezier tool or pen tool you can also use B subline here we have artistic media tool okay tool we can use also if I will click it and uh, drag you can see that this type of effect it is giving because it is selected here okay so we have a lot of effects here but uh, we are not going to use this through artistic media tool we will open artistic media dialog box and uh, we will get some nice effect from there you can see that this how you can create a path with a freehand tool like this and this effect is applied because it is selected here but uh, i am going to show you the different way because this way if you will use the freehand artistic media sometime you cannot control your mouse so it is uh, quite hard so what we can do we can create first path and then we can apply artistic media on that path here we have different tools since we used last time pen tool i am going to use the pen tool now okay first thing i think we can reduce the transparency of this object here or make it half so the path it will be easy to create secondly if i want i can lock object so it will not move from the page and here we have our pen tool about pen tool i will give you one tip as you can see that the pen size here is two points how it comes two point when you will select any path tool by default it's coming here line freehand tool pen tool bezier tool but how it's come to here if you want to change the default size when you are going to draw anything in coral draw you can change it you can make it by default how to do that let's say default is here line okay so it is telling that you want to make it default click ok if i will click on pen tool you can see that always it will come here line so if you want your desired size always it's appear with the pen tool what you can do the first thing you can select the pen tool and then don't draw anything before you draw anything first change the size here okay let's say i want to so i will click on two point and then it is telling that uh, change document defaults I will click OK so you can see that it's become two point. Now if I will draw anything with the pen tool, it will come with the two points. Look at this, press delete. And if you want to bring it back again the default size, select the pen tool. Before you draw anything, change it first. Let's say here line and then click OK. Now always when you will use pen tool, it will come here line. But right now we need to change it because I want to show you the path here. So before I use pen tool, I will change here, maybe two. Click OK. Now we can start creating path. So here we have, I will start from the top here. Click, click and drag. And I will not make a closed path. I will just keep it open this way okay double click so we have here one path with the shape tool anytime I want I can adjust it this way from points okay now another path I want to create we'll click on pick tool and choose the pen tool again 
and I'm not going to connect here. I will just draw here. This way I will click now here. You know already how to use the pen tool and uh, click and drag here and double click to close. So this is the second path I created. Now we can start another path. If I will click here, now it will continue this path. So I can go back to pick tool and again I can choose the pen tool. Click and drag to make little bit curve here. And then again click and drag here. Okay, double click. So I have now another path. From this side also we can create. I will go back again I will use pen tool and this time I will create two paths. I will divide this in two. I will click, click and drag and double click. The last one here we have another pick tool and click on pen, click, click and drag to just follow the curve, click and drag and uh, I can double click. Click on pick tool and select all of them. Bring it out here. So if you want still you can uh, repair. You can see that here it is a little bit this way. Uh, you know already how to clear the path, how to make it smooth. We can delete some points and we can add some points. So click on shape tool. At this point if I will move, yeah it is okay. And we can adjust a little bit. All right. And this place here we have this uh, little bit sharp so I'll use the shape tool I will add two points and then I will delete this point okay I added two points one here and one there and in the middle I deleted the first point so I think it is done it is okay that is fine we can open artistic media dialog box so select all of them and go to effect click on effect and you can see that here we have artistic media if I will click it artistic media dialog box it's open and you can see that here we have a uh, different type of brushes we can use and any style I want I can apply here and this glass I want to apply maybe this here the way we have here so you can see that same effect I apply in that now once you will apply artistic media effect on the path path will be having fill and stroke okay before it was just a path right we can give only outline by right clicking but if you will fill color now you will left click as a fill okay if I will fill the color in this it will be considered shape now so I will left click here so you can see that it is filled and it is having itself outline also if I will right click here and you can see that there is a black outline around and if I will increase the size here look at this this is artistic media size and if I want to access that line the one is outline I need to click again in the middle look at this now if I click in the middle here now we don't have artistic media we have hairline so here I can choose my hairline size and you can see that we have black hairline with the blue fill let's change the fill so you will understand you can see that here we have but mostly most of the time this type of effect is not having any outline so I am going to remove outline and I will fill it with some dark color okay that is fine now you can see that here we have fill also inside okay that is uh, another object actually if I will move you can see that there is another object so how to get that let's move this here and I will unlock this object now we can freely move this make it zero transparency so it's okay now Another thing here, if you have an image without uh, any complicated background, let's say you have a white background. Now in this image, we have white background. So if you have a white background or you have a PSD or PNG image, you can use the easy trick that we have done in our previous lesson. We can apply the darkness, okay, and then we can trace bitmap. But if you are having complicated background with your image, you really need to use some path, let's say BSUP line or and maybe you can use pen tool to create simple path like this you don't need to really draw perfect but this way look at this I am just roughly 
drawing to just show you okay so here you can see that it goes this way i can click on shape tool if i will click another point close to that point this path automatically it will move i will click here look at this so we have a shape here if you have a crowded background around your image you can use this trick but if you have a white background that's more easy you can select the image and go to the bitmap image adjustment lab and simply reduce the brightness to minus 100 then click ok so you can see that since we have a background that is also coming with that you can just go to the trace bitmap and quick trace all right here we have now traced image and uh, this one is the original i can delete this we don't need any more this image now i am going to ungroup it because having two object now object group and ungroup all we need this black so click outside delete the blue and here we have this is exactly what we need so if i want i can remove color from inside and fill outline so you will see that this is just a shape so if i will fill it with some color light color remove outline and uh, press control key and click on the white color keep clicking so that it will become bright now you can see that we have a lighter version of the blue now what we are going to do we can select all of them and uh, we can group object group and here we have control g you can press also so we can move all together this is how we get this nice effect now if you want uh, you can type text also we can create text now okay so here we have a text tool i am going to type text we can type the same text glass okay pick tool and uh, we can increase the font you can bring it here you can see that it is a default text if i will apply artistic media it might not work so what we need to do we need to convert this into curve okay so once you will convert this text into curve it will become shape so how to do that we'll go to the object convert to curve like this so here we have now if i will apply artistic media effect you can see that it works and if i want i can change the color look at this now artistic media is applied i can reduce the artistic media we don't have outline also and uh, artistic media color it will come as a shape fill color okay so if i will click any color and uh, we can reduce here like this so this way you can apply this nice effect on the text also another thing you can do with the text this is now double line because coral dry is applying artistic media to the text because text is itself having outline so it is double you know double stroke coming outside and inside if we want we can apply this type of effect but we need to draw okay we need to draw the text based on the letters so let's see how it's done here we have a text we can do directly this way but if you want to get the single stroke nice effect this way you need to type text and then we can draw a single path based on that text so here i am going to remove color from inside and i will apply only outline to make it clear this thing here i can use any tool pen tool b subline bezier tool to create the single stroke for this text so i will go to the b subline to make it fast just this type of text effect you can use for the heading double click so i have here letter now i can start from here double click to close okay another one here single stroke for this text double click and now the last one is s so here we have now if you want you can still adjust with the shape tool let's say i want to make it a little bit round here so i can fix this way okay that is enough i can click on big tool press plus 
to copy and just move it here okay so here we have now I can delete this uh, real text we don't need this is single stroke so once I will apply artistic media it will really work I will apply this style here look at this now this is how it works it is applied and artistic media size here we can control we can fill the color your desired color you can fill it so this is how we have a very beautiful effect a single stroke effect on the text but this text we draw with the B subline and if you want to apply on the default text it will go double stroke this way still we have a lot of things in artistic media you can see that here we have uh, brushes we have spray okay and uh, calligraphic anyone you will select here and you can just draw in your page if I will click this look at this this brush is selected and it's coming this way and I can choose any look at this okay so this way we can do also we have uh, artistic media brush if you will select the brush you can see here we have a lot of brushes okay and here in this you can see that and go down that all variety you can see here also so there is a lot of things that you can make experiment with artistic media it is very nice tool so that's all for now guys uh, i hope you enjoy this lesson try to practice guys if you like my video please subscribe my channel and click on the bell button so you will always get notification once i will upload new video thank you